So what you want to do for the cracked, um, you know, nipple and stuff to heal, you want to grab a, um, a diaper. I'm going to just show you guys Genesis diaper. So you want to grab a diaper and you want to wet the diaper with warm water, okay? Not cold, not hot, very warm water. So you want to wet your diaper and then you want to put it inside your boob. Um, you want to put it inside your boob and just let it sit after you're done feeding your baby, okay? Um, so if you want to do that, that's one thing to help me. And I'm going to tell you some other things. So you're going to want to put nipple cream always after every feeding, okay? This helps your boobs not hurt, okay? Your nipple, I mean. So please, use this nipple cream. This one is new because I bought it really late. I still use it sometimes, but I don't really use it no more because it don't really hurt. So you want to take baths, okay? Those help a lot. So when your baby's sleeping or, you know, if you could have your partner or your mom help you out, then take baths, okay? That really helps. Or you could take showers. Just let hot, hot water, not hot, hot, but again, warm slash hot um, water just run down your chest also your back because your back is gonna hurt girl your back is gonna hurt it's gonna feel like you got a broken back that's just how it felt for me I don't know about you but it's gonna feel like that and um, that's totally normal okay also another thing is use your own breast milk okay that worked really really good I think that's what helped me most you want to grab you know, squeeze your boob, get that breast milk, rub it on your breast. That's how much breast milk is really good, okay? You want to put that on your own nipple. That's going to help you so damn much. So, you always want to, you know, let your nipples get some air. And when they're wet, you want to let your boobs air dry before you put anything on them. Because, girl, they are going to be sensitive. Till this day, my boobs are still sensitive. But, you just want to be really careful. Because, yeah when i would go to sleep i would sleep naked i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but during the day i had to wear clothes obviously because the but in the night i would sleep naked okay you want to let your boobs get some air you want to let them breathe okay so you can't always get newborns on a feeding schedule you know they're just you know feeding on demand whenever they want to and um till this day i don't have a feeding schedule she just feeds on demand every two hours, every one hour, every five, you know, five to ten minutes. Not five, ten minutes, but, you know, she'll stay on the booth for five minutes or not. It's just really whenever she wants to. But for a newborn, you are going to be nursing a lot, okay? Yes, you are because newborns eat a lot. And they always just like to be on the boob. Also, if your baby does want to use your boob as a pacifier, let them okay my baby didn't like the pacifier but if your baby could if you could get if you could get your baby on a pacifier then you know do that but um i also didn't want to use the pacifier because you they get um nipple confusion with that but my baby didn't she obviously knew the difference so basically nipple confusion is when they'll get mixed up and they will want the pacifier more than, you know, the nipple. And sometimes they won't even take the nipple no more because, you know, they're introduced to the pacifier and then you have to get them on bottles. So thankfully she, I would have wished she took the pacifier, but she didn't, but that's okay, you know. So yeah, just let them use your breast as a pacifier. Now, if you do want to introduce the pacifier to your baby, I recommend you waiting until they are three or four weeks old to introduce that to them just so that nipple confusion won't happen and they won't know the difference, you know? Um, but yeah, it is common that they won't take it because they won't like it and stuff because you're breastfeeding and they will know the difference just like Janessa did. 
also if your baby is feeding a lot sometimes they'll be feeding a lot and they'll be called growth spurts i don't know how many months it is i think it's like when they're one month three months six months or i'm not sure i'll put it right here but they do hit growth spurts and that's basically when they eat more than usual because they are growing and again that's normal you just got to feed them all the freaking time so a lot of people think that when their baby's crying it's because there no milk is coming out and really that's rarely rarely the case okay um your body knows what it's doing okay and as long as you're staying healthy you know you should not run out of milk but you don't always want to think that okay so you just got to trust in your body but if you are concerned i do recommend you to speak to a lactation consultant because they obviously help with that i got mine personally through wic um but you can do your research you know on some as your baby grows up they will stop eating frequently but for a long time of periods so basically they will stop eating every 15 minutes and now it'll be every two hours but they'll be longer on the boob like they'll be on there for 30 minutes now and um yeah unless they're hitting a growth spurt then they will eat frequently another thing now is you got to match your clothes to according to you breastfeeding so you can't be using you know using um, that cute you know tube tops you can't be dressing nice no more you can still dress nice but basically you got to use you or wear something that's very accessible to you breastfeeding so i like to wear tank tops if you haven't noticed because i just pull them down and i pull this down and i you know have the access to you know give her some chi chi but um yeah that's another thing when you shower do not put soap on your nipples okay do not do that okay do not wash your nipples with nothing because it will leave the scent on there and it's just not good for the baby and um your nipple has you know their you know normal scent and that's what your baby is used to i mean for me i couldn't even touch them so i don't know how i would be able to scrub them but that's what they told me do not you know wash them so they're gonna be that sensitive they're gonna be that sensitive that you're not even gonna want to touch them but if you have any questions again ask the nurses while you're at the hospital that's what they are there for so if you want to you know keep bottle feeding you want to also be pumping because as time goes by I explained this so wrong because, you know, your girl don't know how to explain nothing right. But basically, what I was trying to say is as time goes by, your body will only produce the milk that your baby is sucking. So, it will produce less milk according to how much your baby is sucking on your boobs. So, you want to pump a lot because when you pump it's sucking on your boob and basically it's sucking more and that's how your body knows to produce more milk your body is gets used to how much milk how much they're sucking on your titty okay and basically when you're pumping it's sucking on your titty so you want to pump a lot if you want to get a lot of milk okay that's the key to you know getting a lot of milk you want to pump a lot and I really messed up there because when I pump, I don't get a lot of milk now. And it's sad, but um, you just want to keep on doing that. So when you get a letdown, you feel like little cramps. If you get them through the day, you'll feel like a little cramp going down your boob. And then all of a sudden, your boobs get big and you feel some rocks up in there. <laughs> like some little balls. And sometimes they will leak. The veins on your boobs get so freaking dark so that's another thing and they're you know they get so freaking dark and it's creepy but they get really dark do not wear tight clothes okay that could also get your milk clogged up so don't wear tight clothes on you know your your um chest area your appetite does increase you become more hungry more thirsty you know all that because obviously your baby is sucking everything out of you so that does happen 
please try not to get depressed or that's like sad that can you know stop your you know milk supply what i did to you know not think about that just think about your baby and just keep that in mind that if you get sad or depressed and stuff then it could cause your milk to dry out and you don't want that for your baby obviously so yeah do not you know be stressing do not do none of that I lost so much weight with breastfeeding as you could tell and it's really 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 hard for me to um to gain weight because every time that I'm eating and trying to gain weight Janessa is taking it back for her like dang girl let me get some but yeah <laughs> it's really hard for me to gain weight right now but you do lose a lot of weight from breastfeeding you want to make sure that you switch boobs throughout breastfeeding or else one will get really really full um and that's just not a good idea so you want to make sure that you switch boobs you know through your feeding sorry if i'm going all over the place just keep these tips in mind so a lot of one thing that janessa would do is she would choke a lot when she was feeding because my milk was coming out so fast so it was scary and i was kind of worried and you know i was like oh my gosh like what what's happening like she would literally choke on my milk and um so basically what you want to do is you want to just like sit back you know and you know lay back and your milk will come out slower that way and um it helps that not happen so make sure if your baby if you're having trouble like that make sure you just sit back and relax and stuff and feed them like that so try not to always leave your baby for a long time after they fall asleep on your nipple they will get used to having your nipple in their mouth and they will feel when you take it out okay and i really messed up there because now janessa will not go to sleep if she's not on my nipple like until nighttime, she will literally stay asleep but during the day she will not stay asleep now how to unlatch you want to get your pinky right you want to get your pinky and you want to this is say these are her lips you want to get your nipple like in between your nipple and their you know tongue and you want to just pull out slowly okay pull out slowly do not pull your nipple out their mouth because gosh girl that's gonna hurt do not do that okay do not do that please another thing you got to be careful when they start freaking moving and they know how they have support in their head and they like move all around because when they take their mouth when they pull their lip you know their mouth out your nipple it hurts and trust me girl there's nothing that you could do about that you just got to be very careful and make sure you use your finger very fast when you see that's about to happen because girl they will literally turn around and go right back on your boob okay so yeah also when they smile it will hurt it will hurt you and um obviously there's nothing you can do about that either so you just gotta be really careful when you see that coming also when they are teething they learn how to bite down with their gums and it really really freaking hurts it really hurts but that's just things you got to put up with there's nothing you could do about that how many times to feed your baby newborns nurse a lot like every one or two hours or every one hour every few minutes you know it's really breastfeeding is really on demand you know you don't you can't really put them on a schedule you never feel like your newborn is not getting a lot of milk their stomach is literally so freaking small okay they will get full very fast so do not worry like i said if you feel that they aren't getting full just keep on feeding every time they are crying or something i mean when they're newborns they nurse every 30 minutes to one hour i mean now she nurses every like two hours every one and a hour and a half half it just really depends breastfeeding doesn't go by the clock you just gotta feed them whenever they are looking for their boob also i forgot to mention how to tell if your baby is hungry so basically they will like start moving their head um like if something's itching their cheek or they'll be looking for the boob like literally trying to suck on your clothes or something so you will know when your baby is hungry but like i said she didn't take the pacifier so she was literally on there she still is on the time 
and even sometimes just for five minutes and then she'll get off but literally they just use that for comfort so you just gotta give it to them now pumping it could get hard um it's not supposed to hurt when you pump um basically i recommend you pumping after like one week from giving birth or it's up to you but it shouldn't be hard and it shouldn't hurt um basically the pump that i use is this medela pump basically i you get a milk storage bag and this you could also do the bottle but i use the, the bags because i store my milk in bags um but basically you just hang it on here and it's just this on-demand pump um, I really like this pump because you should not hear this when you're pumping, okay? If you use this pump. You should not hear that, okay? It should be silent and you should just see milk coming out. So, I use that pump because you have control over it. I did get this pump free from my insurance. This one that I'm about to show you guys. And I did not like it because I... I just didn't have control over it it was like automatic and i just didn't like it so i'm not going to show you all the whole thing but basically it was this and then you would have the bottle and then you would like put it on your boob i did not like that one um i believe this one's like ten dollars you could even get this free at if you have wick i got this from my sister she gave me it she got this free at wick so i didn't have to buy it but yeah she introduced me to that one and i really liked it really 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 much so when you're pumping you want to lean forward that helps your milk come out faster and also you want to drink a lot a lot of water a full probably a full bottle of water before you pump and that will help your milk you know a lot of milk come out the first time i pumped i got like two ounces of milk I believe I could have got more but that's just all we did because my sister did it for me but yeah that's all that I pumped I believe but I did start pumping about like two weeks after I gave birth I believe basically you store your milk in the bags and you store them in the freezer and um, basically when you are about to feed the baby you never want to warm up the milk in the microwave you want to get a pot and you want to boil the water and you want to put that milk storage bag in the pot let it dissolve and then you'll put it in the bottle and then you'll feed the bottle to them so the first bottles i introduced janessa to introduced her to these dr brown bottles right here don't use a pacifier or a bottle um until after they are two weeks old or three weeks old or even four weeks old after you give birth just so they won't get nipple confusion once again she did not really like these it was a hard time to get her on these um she would not take it unless she was like just super hungry and she didn't care no more but other than that she did not like these so i do recommend you to get these avent bottles um these are very similar to the nipple and she loves this one she loves this one so this is 100 percent recommended this i did get on my baby shower um but it does come with four bottles and they're obviously different ounces and it comes with a bottle cleaner and a pacifier so they at my hospital they didn't give out pacifiers no more um but this is the pacifier that they give you they would give you at the hospital because again it's similar to the nipple um but yeah she really liked these bottles because they are super similar to the nipple if you pay attention like yes she loved these so i use those this is just a um breastfeeding cover to use in public you know she don't like to be covered so i would just like use my clothes to cover it or like a um a blanket so i don't pump anymore again like i said i don't pump a lot i pump like basically two ounces and that's it just in case for emergencies again um because my body just got used to producing milk that janessa ate and that's all it produces but like i said when i do eat a lot or i do drink a lot of a lot of water and then i pump after i get a lot of milk 
I stopped pumping a lot when she was two months and um, after that I just stuck to breastfeeding as much as I could two months going on to three months yeah now when you are pumping you want to fill it up to exactly the last line that your milk storage bag has you never want to overfill the bag okay because when you freeze it it will obviously expand and it's just not a good idea just don't do that okay also when you boil the water it will like you know it will, it's a possibility that it will open and it just will it's just not a good idea so how did i build my milk supply up as soon as you get home girl eat oatmeal okay you know if you're hispanic la vena your mom is gonna make you drink that or eat it i mean and um basically yeah oatmeal you want to eat oatmeal a lot of oatmeal every morning and that's what i would do also if you are hispanic and you know of my cena I also would drink that too. I will put a picture. I don't know how to say it in English, so I'm sorry, but there will be a picture right here. You want to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water, and you want to pump a lot. This is going to help build your milk supply up, okay? You want to pump a lot. Also, the more that your baby, you know, eats is the more that your milk you will get. Also, I drink a lot of milk. Um a lot of milk you want to make sure you drink low fat milk um because the other milk like the two percent it's a, it's possible to like help you have less milk supply that's what they told me so you want to drink low fat milk and i get low fat milk with my wick that's why they do give you low fat milk because the two percent is not really you know much healthy for you it's still healthy but the low fat is more healthy the one percent so yeah pumping is just the more demanding that you're eating and pumping is the more supply that you will get trust your body girls and knows what it's doing your body's really just um i meant to say naturally here i am correcting myself through this whole video because i'm slow and i don't know how to explain nothing oh sorry excuse the mess but if you have prenatal pills Drink those prenatal pills. They are going to help you. As soon as you give birth, start taking the prenatal pills. I still have some of mine, but mine's are just like these orange pink ones or whatever. You want to drink those. Those are going to help also. Also, um, the pink drink has coconut milk. Coconut milk is going to help build up your milk supply. You want to drink coconut water, coconut milk. That's going to help you. So basically, that's why the pink drink helps build your milk supply up i never knew that until i did ask and yes it does help build your milk supply up so i would always drink that but now i can't drink it because i can't go out no more but that does help build your milk supply up breastfeeding in public don't let anybody tell you you can't breastfeed in public okay um in california where i live according to the law it is legal so i'm not sure where you live but search it up but nobody don't let nobody tell you you can't breastfeed okay um because it's such a normal thing you are just feeding your baby and nobody should you know tell you nothing um i was normally just comfortable feeding my baby in public like that because i'm just feeding my baby you know nothing wrong with that but if you are uncomfortable you could use the um the cover like i said again this is just one that my medical gave me um but again you could buy your own but i never use that personally changes in your body you will get a lot of gas girl when i mean gas girl you're gonna be farting all the damn time um so when feeding your baby or pumping you will feel like the other boob cramping that happens to me still to this day but that does happen your nipples get bigger and darker as soon as you give birth, okay? You're gonna get scared, girl. I got scared too. Don't get scared. They're gonna lighten up as time goes by, okay? The more that your baby sucks on them is the more that they're gonna lighten up, okay? You will get stretch marks. Now, if you do wanna pre prevent that, I do recommend you to buy this stretch mark cream. 
um, I started using this late in my pregnancy, but you do want to use this as soon as you find out you're pregnant because your boobs are going to grow while you're pregnant and even after birth. So they're going to be going big, small, big, small. So you want to make sure you put this on so you won't get stretch marks. I do have a little bit to be honest. They're not bad though. They're really light. And um, I started using this and I didn't get no more. So that is all that I had on my notes. Now, if you are a breastfeeding mom and you have some tips or something that I did miss, make sure to comment that down below um, for my mommies out there, you know, who are looking on this video for some advice and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I got through it all, but if you still have questions, just let me know and I will be, you know, more than happy to help you guys out because I know that if I didn't have the help that I had for my sister and my lactation consultant, I would be stuck so you know you could always ask me girl we are family okay believe in me but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i finally got it done for you guys and now i'm just about to take this makeup off and this hair and go to sleep because girl i am so damn tired and if i don't get to get my sleep right now i will never get my sleep because janessa does not sleep during the day but yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and i'll see you guys in my next video and i love you guys so much as of right now i do have 44.7k i want to thank you guys so much for that it really means a lot to me hopefully we can make it to 50k um you know sooner or later it doesn't matter but i do want to thank you guys for the continuous support on my channel and you know for giving me you know that positive feedback and it really makes me you know just keep on going harder for you guys and stuff and i really really love to hear that i help a lot of you guys out with my videos because that's what i've just always wanted to do and um you know you're not alone you're here with me too girl and i love you even though i don't know you but yes if you're a teen mom you're strong and i just want to tell you that i'm here for you and yes i love you because you took the